stepping stone method is used to optimize the solution so we could see here we have already obtained the solution using another method transportation method okay and the solution in this method it was uh, two hundred and sixty dollars as a total cost two hundred and sixty dollars so, so we're gonna use the stepping stone to see how we're gonna minimize the solution we obtain the two hundred sixty dollar by multiplying twenty five times three plus five times four plus three times two plus thirty times three plus five times three equal two hundred and sixty dollars first we're gonna check if it, it is degeneracy or non-degeneracy uh, the fact it is non-degeneracy is number of rows plus number of columns minus one so we have five and it is equal to the allocated cells which is one two three four five so it is non-degeneracy uh, cells if it is degeneracy cells there is another video about how to solve degeneracy cells and all what you have to do is to imagine there is a cell with an epsilon in it so so that so you change it to not degeneracy the so step is three it is called rules for looping you always start with unoccupied unallocated cells like an empty cells like this one and travel to allocated cells only and will end up at the starting cells closed loop so you have to start with this one and come back to this one this is the first condition loop will go in a straight line it can, cannot go diagonally it's always straight line either horizontal or vertical it can take 90 degrees at allocated size so we could go corner like turn if it is vertical can go horizontal if it is horizontal can go vertical only 90 degrees allocated size okay and it might overlap itself in the path of the loop there cannot be three or more adjacent cells so those if they are in a row they are not to be considered Allocated cells are in the path of the loop, but not quarter cells will not be considered in the calculation. So let's start with the first one. Let's start with the first one. Like, um, I'm gonna do a little bit minus and delete the as a step two. We're gonna start with the first one. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. So the first one to start with unallocated cells. So we go we go down this one. Okay. So we go down this one. We are at the unallocated cell here. We could go either right, left, uh, down. If we go left, okay, we could turn a 90 degrees. We go here. Remember, you cannot turn 90 degrees at this, and the aim is always to go back where we started. So if you go left, you can turn 90 degrees here, come back here, and then all the way up here, okay, to come back to it. Or we could go, or we could go like the way I, I solved it, for example, we could go from here, okay, all the way down, and then all the way to here. Then here, and then here, and then come back to it. So in a way, it will become as a, a closed loop. The second one we're gonna deal with it. The second one we're gonna deal. The second one we're gonna deal with it. is uh, this one which is like the empty one so this is the first one remember always we start with a positive here it will be negative and here there's a positive and then negative here as you could see we put positive negative positive negative okay every time we turn a corner the second one we're gonna work on I'm gonna delete this so the second one we're gonna work on is this one. Either we could go here, go three them, and remember we cannot go three, three more adjacent are not to be considered. So the only way to do it, go left here, all the way here, go down, and then back three, so it's not correct. The only way to do it is go down here, and then go, so the loop will overlap itself. And we put positive, negative, as you could see here. Okay, and we put the cost. So, so far we have two minus one. Oh, 
supply chain or create supply chain we're here so we go uh, up all the way down and then back here if you go up to here and then down you cannot turn corner if it's not allocated so up all the way down and then back to the left and then OS supply chain 2 the same applies here and we go up and then which is like we're here we go up we go left right excuse me so we go down and then we go left so this is done we have to do this for all unallocated cells cells with no unit are being transported on it so starting with we've done this so I'm gonna delete this for a second we put all the cost we have you could see like we have this route and this route this loop are both negative so the step four examine total cost of each loop and check if any loop has negative total cost if all cost value are greater or equal to zero the present solution is optimal if any cost is value is negative then the present solution is not optimal and we need to reallocate so the both one we have to consider is this loop and this the one in red locate the loop which has the most negative cost while here they are both equal so we have to do them twice or just one time um, for real allocation, find the small allocation value in the path of loop. Consider only corner cell allocation of calculations not corner. Starting cell of loop will be cell next cell is negative and so on. So the way the way to do it. So if you come here, so we're gonna start here unallocated cells. We go up, right, down, and back here, which is our root or loop. We've written it. We've written it here. Okay which is this road here sorry that one here excuse me so and as we've been told you assign the value there cannot be three or more as we've been told here uh, find the smallest allocation value in the passive loop consider only corners and cell will be plus next cell is negative and so on so this one will be plus and then negative this is a start plus negative and so on you just put the plus and negative on the corner cell and then we see the, the slowest lowest amount of unit transported on one two three four routes is five okay so here we have a plus so we put plus like zero plus five here we have five so it'll be five minus five five plus five equal ten and thirty minus five equal twenty five so the new solution would be this one here Mount Pelier, there is 25 unit Nixon there are 30 plus 10 40 5 plus 25 equals 30 and then we recalculate we manage to lower like 25 times 3 5 times 3 30 times 2 10 times 3 25 times 3 we manage to lower it to 255 instead of 260 okay thank you